Lucas Media. So we got news coming out of the basketball world. Bronny James is going to be a uh, NBA draft pick here soon. And now you got reports coming out that Bronny actually was able to head up to 10 workouts. But he's only willing to talk to two or meet two teams, which is the Phoenix Suns and his father's Los Angeles Lakers. Also, Rich Paul came out and said that Bronny also will be staying in the NBA draft. So he will not be going back to college. So this lets you know that more than likely, and also the Phoenix Suns got the 22nd overall pick. But this lets you know that more than likely, he's only going to play for these two teams. Phoenix will... They may, they may draft him with the 22nd overall pick, but I don't honestly I don't think so. And this is me, this is my opinion, due to the fact that it is a complete it's gonna be a complete circus. Unless they're gonna blow that team up. You got KD over there trying to win. You got Bradley Bill trying to win. You got Devin Booker over there trying to win. You don't want to hear them constantly answer questions every day about is Bronny gonna play? What you think about Bronny's success? I mean his progress so on and so forth so if they draft him to me my gut feeling is they're gonna start moving players and people around but i do think that rich paul is only gonna let Bronny do that because meet with the phoenix suns that way this geekly speculation when the los angeles lakers draft him with the 55 overall pick which i believe is going to happen you know lakers the showtime lakers they're they are equipped to deal with the circus you can go all the way back to the 80s and on up. You know, it's always been a circus down there in Los Angeles. Not when they was in Minneapolis, but the L.A. Lakers. And it makes sense. With Rich Paul being the most powerful agent currently in the NBA, he can tell teams quietly, don't you draft Bronny. Because if you draft him, it's going to be, you know, you ain't going to be able to get some of these big stars. And the stars you have may end up wanting to move around. But again, no knock on Bronny. I hope he gets drafted. You know, he's a good kid. LeBron has a lot of haters. And I'm going to keep it real. A lot of people are projecting because they never had a father that would stick up for them. They never had a father that spoke life into them. Custom Auto was telling people that Mike Tyson was going to be the next champion in the 80s. And y'all love Custom Auto. But with LeBron, you hate the fact that he wants to speak life into his son. Uh, publicly you hate the fact that LeVar Ball did that 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 really got under some people's skin and we all know that's why because they fathers didn't do that for them if they if some of them probably didn't even know who their fathers were so but I, I get it LeBron being the most popular people on the planet it's going to be a lot of uh, uh, naysayers but in all actuality we should we should champion a brother doing this for his son also Brody want to play in the NBA even with Bill Haney, I, I'm going to make a separate video about that. But we should want to see stuff like this as a community. You know, I, to my fellow brothers out there, man, you we can agree to disagree with LeBron. There's a lot of stuff with LeBron I don't agree with. But I'm never going to knock somebody for wanting to push their son to be great. And if their son their son also wants to be great, you see Bronny's entering the NBA draft. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.